Hey guys, UL Plotus here. I'd like to show you a few new features in Texture Studio that I added recently. Um, so let's get started. I'll just I already have the game loaded, so let's just go in and uh, I'll show you what I got. Basically, this is a include that allows you to create uh, stunt cut, stunt uh, object configurations like loops, circles, and spirals and all sorts of interesting things. Uh, it's an include that I got off the SAMP forms by Codectile. Uh, you can go check that out if you want. Uh, I've modified it quite a bit to be honest. It's it's not quite like his version but we'll just go over here to the airport where I have enough space to work with. It'll just be a minute to get there. Alright, so the tool is, uh, well, the, his include is called Object Metry, so I put this into Texture Studio for so that, that you can use to open up the editor. Pretty simple. Just type OBM Edit. Yeah, of course, I gotta make a new map. I'll just call it Test. Alright, so this is the editor. It has a bunch of options depending on how you set these. It's going to affect it's going to affect uh, the object configuration. So when you first open it, there's really nothing set. It's all it's all basic. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just I'll just find a nice object in the O search to work with. And I kind of like working with uh, these walls here. They seem to do a pretty good job. So 19362. 19362 was the model. And uh, we'll start with a circle. It's a pretty simple, sh pretty simple shape. And. Uh, so we have okay. So we've set the model, and what we want to do first is just go down to here and set the origin. And this is where the center will be. So you can already see like the objects come up. And you can move it around to where you want. Uh, one thing about using this, to get the exact point where you want, like once I get it here, just click this and just just move it just a little bit, and that will uh, that will make sure that that object actually is on that position that you're seeing because the update isn't a hundred percent and uh, okay so I've saved that so now what we want to do is add some values to this to get uh, to get a circle shape so we'll give it a horizontal separation of 10 and a radius of 10 so you can see that spawn them all in a radius now sometimes you might want to use this with with the facing center off but uh, this tool really works better with face center on. So if you turn it on, you can see these are all in a nice circle now. And you know this is kind of like a half pipe type thing. Um, you can set this at. You can set the origin rotation. So if you change this to ninety, right now it's like a loop. Pretty useful stuff. Uh, I'll just put it back for now and uh, show some more things that you can do with this. So another neat feature that I added was uh, being able to set your orientation Rx and Ry. So what you do is you come here just click uh, select set object or rotation orientation and like this won't do anything uh, if you move it around with any of these axes. You have to go into the actual rotation. The Z axis won't do anything, but if you move the X and Y, you can see this. That will uh, change the actual orientation of the object. So you can see now it's kind of got like this jagged pattern. 
I, I really like editing the X the RY instead. This looks pretty neat when you do this. Uh, here we go. You, and you'll see right now, yeah, you can see it. It kind of flips it. it. It's almost like a 3D editor. So you can set it like that. Now it's... Now you kind of have like this, I don't know, I guess I guess if this object was bigger, you could use this as a uh, as an arena of some sort. Uh, you can also you can also set uh, your rotation in degrees. So say say you wanted a ninety degree section, just set it to ninety, and now we have a ninety degree section here. Um, now, when you do this, these objects aren't actually saved into the map yet. You actually have to apply the, the objects to map. So, if you click this one here and just apply the objects to map, you'll see that that's applied them all to the map and now it's been saved. Um, we'll just hide the objects now and go out of this and uh, you can go and it automatically groups them all so you can use a set group command and give that an actual group ID I'll just give it a hundred so you can see now it's all set them to a hundred and uh, you can select this group anytime and edit just these objects um, but we'll go with the edit group command so once this is done now you can actually move all these objects together again any orientation you want so you can go something like that you know now you have like this, like a little curved ramp or something. So yeah, there's uh, there's a lot more options in this as well of what you can edit. Uh, we'll just put this back to 360 and uh, reset the orientation. And uh, now we'll change the type here to a spiral and you can see that really hasn't done much yet that's because yet there's no vertical separation set so if I set that to point one now it's like an actual spiral so you can see that this is a loop but the problem is this isn't this isn't the right angle so you would have to go in and change the origin I guess it's the R way I think 90 yep R way 90 now just uh, now we just set the origin again. Let's move this up. There we go. So the origin's been set. So now you've cr basically created a quick loop that you can use in your stunt maps. Real simple. Um, I'll just I'll just go ahead and apply this for fun. Now it is a bit slow, my hard drive's not very fast, so it takes a little, a little while for that to happen. And we'll just hide the objects again, and uh, take this section here, well we'll set the group first, set group 101, now we'll select, we'll select group 100. So now we have this group again, we'll just edit the group, and uh, just kind of put this into place, so it's kind of attached, whatever, I'm, I'm being pretty sloppy right now. And this, yeah. Yeah, I'm, see, See if you save the group and come back it'll it'll fix this orientation which helps out a bit. And uh, Well, that's not very good. I mean, I I could go in and I could set the pivot point to here 
and rotate it on that pivot. That would probably be easier to get this piece in place, but I'm not going to bother right now. Um, I'll just, I'm just going to show the, the rest of the options, and, uh, and that'll be it for this video. So I'll just go back into the, into the editor. Here we go. Uh, let's set the rotation back, the ori or the rotate, origin ROI to back to zero. And I'll just, uh, move this over here so you, so it's easier to see. Save it. And now we'll, I'll just show the other ones. So you can go to a cylinder. And there's a, there's not much separation. So for this, you would have to increase that to 4. And you can see now it's... There's a whole bunch of separations on this cylinder. Uh, you can change you can change the number of parts and that'll adjust it, see. So there's two. Um same thing if you want to change if you want to change the rotation orientation like this. And you can see that affects both of them. Pretty useful. And uh I don't know why it said it like that. Okay, well, it actually saved it some for some reason. I'll just set it back to zero. No problem. And uh, so that's a cylinder, a whirl. This one, I don't know. I, I guess some people might find this useful. Uh, right now, it's I really don't I really don't like uh, the or the orientation. Uh, if I change this orientation, it'd be ROI 90. Yeah, see now, now it, that actually might be kind of useful for some people. Um, the problem here is there's probably too much horizontal separation. So if you turn that down, okay. Well, maybe. Okay, I'm not. I'm not too sure why that's doing that. I mean it. Okay, yeah, that does look better, so. It's put the objects closer together. So, you know, there's there's all sorts of things you can do with this. You just really have to go in and play with the values. Um, that's a whirl, a circle in. This is kind of a neat tool. It creates, like, multiple, uh, multiple circles with it. We'll just put this back to zero so you can actually see... So right now it's set to two. If I set this to ten parts, right now there's so there's just so many there that uh, it's probably not good to use a setting that high for this. We'll just set it back to two. There we go. So that's a circle in, and we got a circle out. Same thing, but it. It, draw, it starts drawing the circles the opposite way. Uh, of course, right? You can set uh, you can set your origin, and this works. Oh yeah, that, I I don't know if I mentioned this, but you can also do it like this, and that'll set the origin. So yeah, there's a lot of things you can do with this tool. Um, I hope this tutorial helps you guys out if you're using Texture Studio and explains how exactly to use these tools. Um, stay tuned for more tutorials. There's still a lot more I have to cover in this. And thanks for watching, guys.